Welcome to the team news for Wrexham versus Macclesfield. There's two changes to that Wrexham team. David Artel comes in as Stephen Wright drops to the bench. But the other change, Ollie, is in the goalkeeping department. Andy Coughlin's injured and Jocelyn Mayabe returns in goal. Uh, yeah, first return for Mayabe uh, since, well, the race course since September. Uh, he'll be looking to earn a place, obviously, in another player out of contract at the end of the season. Rare chance for a second choice goalkeeper to impress. So it'll be interesting to see how he does. Uh, as well as Stephen Wright dropping to the bench, uh, less than all right performance maybe against Grimsby on Tuesday. Artel's in, he's had a good partnership with Livesey, so it'll be interesting to see how they do. And young Bradley Reid, the loanee from Wolves, back on the bench today. He's trained uh, for one day, so he's back with us. Uh, yeah, it's always difficult for a player who's coming back from injury. He's only had one day's training. He'll, on the bench, I'm guessing we'll see him at some point in the game, as well as Rob Ogilby, who's also come back onto the bench, who's, of course, been injured lately. OK, let's hope for three points this afternoon, as it's Wrexham versus Macclesfield Town. It's done, quite frankly. Better than recently, as a quick free kick by Keats is Harris poking it down the channel. It's a good ball sent back to Mr. Anions who drives in. Johnny Hunt! Johnny Hunt scores! Wrexham take the lead! Oh my goodness, they needed that as well. They needed that boost. It was quick thinking by Keats and Harris. Maybe the centre back should have intercepted it. But Anions, a good run in behind the defence, drives it into the goal mouth. Hunt with a pretty straightforward tap in once he got that head of the defender. And well, Hunt into double figures for the season. He's our top scorer which is maybe a comment on our attack as well, to be honest, when Hunt, who's an honest hard worker, can score as much as this. So, under pressure, Harris is intercepted. Anywhere will do, just launches it long. And, oh, there's a chase here. And Jensen has got a piece. He gets mad at the defender. Oh, good work by the keeper, Taylor. He got off his line really quickly and sprinted. Just got it away. And Jensen seems to be flexing his leg. I hope he hasn't pulled something. He is injured enough, isn't he? Oh, it does look like that's the end of it for Anjins, so what a shame. So Rob Ogilby comes on, but what a pity Anjins has been injury prone all season. He, he wants to impress Kevin Wilkin, but I'm afraid that's the end of his afternoon. And he's been lively as well, so far set a good goal at that sprint with the keeper. Keats, in the sort of territory he likes, he signals. Gets it over the wall as well, held by the keeper. Taylor diving to his left, full stretch, just clung onto that. Bulls flicked on. Bishop's trying to back in, but can't win it. And now he's our towel. Oh, he's missed it that badly. Now in Holroyd, left channel. He's got Bolden inside, and Marty plays him in edge of the air. He has a chance. Great tackle by Asher, but Holroyd is there. He must score. He doesn't. Oh, my goodness. He should have done better, Holroyd, then. Ooh, it was a great tackle by Ashton to deny Bolden when he looked about to shoot, but it spanned to Holroyd, and he really should have found the target. Here's Whitaker now, sweeping the ball across to the right-hand side. Long diagonal play towards the edge of Wrexham's area. And in midfield, oh, it can't be controlled, and Wrexham have a chance to break it. Slotted in behind the defence, and Ogilby's in the right channel here. Can he get a shot off? He drives it, not enough power on it. Keeper fumbles. Oh, he likes that right channel going across and hitting it back across the keeper. That's a that's a speciality, really. So Makes him need to close this out. Injury time. Balls played in. Here down the left hand side is Bowden. He's managed to get past for two men. And he drives it in the side netting. And he beat Keats and Clark. They were not met them both. That shouldn't really have, have come to anything. But it's a tight angle. Couldn't hit the target. Too threatening now. Williams 
puts the ball clear to the substitute row. Dean Keats intervenes, chests the ball down, gives it to Neil Ashton. Here's Johnny Hunt. Oh, and a late tackle there by Hall. And that's got to be, uh, he, he got some of the ball, but he took Johnny Hunt with him. That's a rough challenge, Ali. Well, definitely saw Jay, the assistant there, was going absolutely balmy. Look at, he is not happy about that being given, but I can't say I can't be happy about that. Oh, well, he is got, he does receive the yellow card. I'd like to see him just uh, go over and say sorry to Johnny Hunt. That's not going to happen either. So we've got to watch Hall now because he's been quite strong in that left back position. Perhaps Rackton can put him under a bit of play. Oh, he does have a little chat with Johnny Hunt now and a little handshake. So the jobs are good. And Neil Ashton in towards the near post. Too close to the keeper. He can only punch. Keats heads it back in towards the area. Not, not a good header from Dean Keats, but. Harris comes up over the ball, he lost it momentarily, Keats points it forward to Clark, Harris on the overlap, he's going to get the ball in towards the area, oh and it, Harris has been caught really really late off the ball, and do you know what, that must have been bad, because it was a great ball in from Jay Harris, and it, it was it was goal scoring opportunity, the rest blown up, yeah, he's going to him. It's a shame that the referee didn't play the advantage there because Andy Bishop and Rob Overby were in good positions to score. But had that the ball just been on the uh, penalty spot? Yeah. He looked like he was going to just smash it. You know, oh, well, if you're one on one, really, there's no one to stop you. Why would you blow for a free kick against the ball? It's about five to ten yards outside the 18-yard area. Level with the six-yard box, just in front of the corner flag where the assistant referee is. In front of the mold road stand, Dean Keats will be the delivery man. So, why don't you keep his toes as well? Yes. Keats plays it in low towards Bishop! Oh, it's saved by the keeper's feet! Great shot from Andy Bishop. Good free kick routine from Wrexham. But it doesn't work out. Here's Turnbull in midfield, he's a solid, consistent midfield. He works it across and tracks him pressing now, 30 yards from the run goal. Then somebody slap him off and allow it to speak the whole way to step off. And find Golden, he cuts him from the left, squares it on, leave a chance for his shot, but Keats quickly calls down Clark and Clark wins it round. Now then, he's got two miles a lot of him. Finds Keats under pressure, lovely blow, the outside the foot to Keats by Keats. Some down the left hand side, two men in the box, a long way from him with the both of the purples. Such a great ball in, it's put across the face! And neither all will be or Bishop can get to it. Lovely shape on that cross by Hunt. Just a tiny bit behind Bishop with a rouse of dive and flick it. And all will be lunging mask for Carpool. Just couldn't get the touch. Here's an opportunity. He's almost burst in the box. Beats his man. Keeper comes out. Almost shot. He's blocked by the keeper. Corner. That was a great surge into the box. Oh, down the right channel. Keeper was quickly off his line. He was. He's bouncing to my feet there with excitement. thinking, go on, Brad. But it's just been saved there by Taylor's. Everybody in the box defending the Carpool. perspective, Clark waving his arms, telling his teammates to push up as far as they can, as the ball is swept in by Andrew, and pace is dangerous across the face, and the ball kick, wow, the AV was melt attacking it, and it just flew across the face, and no one could get there, and the crowd was still muttering and gasping about that, and here's a sound we haven't heard for a while, the Wrexham fans chanting the, the team home, it's taken short of corner, and that is it, Wrexham have won, Kevin Wilkins, First victory as Wrexham manager, and it was well deserved. Wrexham had to work hard for it. Macclesfield asked all sorts of questions in the second half. They, they put us under pressure, but ultimately, the fact of the matter is that Macclesfield are struggling themselves, and they don't really look like they're the size that has many goals in them. And although they were able to put Wrexham under pressure, they weren't able to really look like they were going to win. Your first win as uh, Wrexham manager. How's it feel? Yeah, I'm delighted. I'm a little bit disappointed it's taken four games to get a, get a first win, but um, of course I'm naturally delighted that we've got the first three points on the board and you know, we'll look to kick on uh, next Saturday. You've spoken about the need to get a win, just to get rid of any relegation doubts. Those have firmly been put to bed now. Do you have a plan with what you'd like to do now that you've got those three points? I think it just opens doors for me to perhaps take a maybe a measured risk with people and, and perhaps have a little bit you know further look at uh, one or two you know a lot it's, it's, it's a balance really I want to win games and you know that's what I'm about is winning games I hope and uh, whilst I don't want to you know just throw caution to the wind with it all I want to you know put people into a into a, a, a setup that we've got a chance of winning games rather than just stick people in there for the sake of doing it so you know we'll have a look at it through the course of the week see how people have come out today I think there's one or two heavy legs there today 
Um, so you know, we need to. It's important that we rest through the course of the week. As, as much as I want to work with them, we need to understand that we need to rest at the right times and make sure we're good to go next next week. Yeah, yeah, we said before the game, you know, we need it. You know, we've been a bit down lately. We haven't had it really had the. Oh, we should have got something on Tuesday, but it was good to get a win for us, the players as well, as well as the manager.